Okay, right, great. I think uh, we'll start there. Um, I'll just keep an eye out for anybody else that joins us uh, slightly late. Uh, okay, so thank you very much for um, attending the session. This is the third session I've run uh, this week, and there's been lots of really good suggestions from parents uh, about the actual process, um, how we can make improvements to it, um, and just sort of just general tips and tricks, because obviously you're there with your child um, going through the online lessons, the live lessons, so uh, you're very you're in a very strong position to be uh, able to explain to us exactly some of the things that we might need to look at and make improvements to, uh, which we've already started to implement. Um, so first of all, what I wanted to do is I just wanted to quickly go through some of the logistics of how uh, this works and, and um, how teams are working for the live lessons. Um, and then I do want to give over a lot more time, obviously, to any questions that might come up or any suggestions. So for so potentially most of the time will be spent on sort of uh, feeding back to you and, and giving you answers to any questions that you might have but I do just want to go through some of the logistics of uh, about what your child sees uh, and how they're able to access um, not just the live teaching lessons but also as well some of the assignments as well so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share my screen uh, with everybody um, and I've got a, a test a test account here which I'm going to use yeah, let's make sure I get the right one yeah okay so hopefully uh, you're able to see my screen now yeah, if you can't see my screen, just just give a shout. OK, great. So what you should see there. So this is um, just a test account. Um, now, when your child logs into Microsoft Teams, this is one of the first things that they will that they will see. Now, there are two ways in which uh, your child can access Microsoft Teams. Um, you can either do it just straight through for a web browser. Uh, and then type in Microsoft Teams and log in and your child's login will be the same login that you use that they use sorry uh, when they use the school system uh, so it's going to be their first three letters of their first name first three letters of their surname and then at sns.hackney.sch.uk uh, the password is exactly the same password again uh, that they use to log into the system all right uh, so that's you can do it through a browser or you can actually just download the app um, the functionality on either of them is exactly the same so you don't need to worry about that if you do it on the browser or you do it on an app um, it's going to be different they're exactly the same uh, and it works on both a mac or windows or um uh, any type of laptop that you might have. OK, uh, what we have found is that if you your child has a Chromebook, it's best to use it on the browser. OK, so if your child has a Chromebook, uh, get them to use it on the browser. So there are a couple of areas um, that uh, are going to be the most used for your child. OK, and this is going to be the calendar area. And I said the calendar area is where all the lessons are going to be. So all your child will have to do is they look at their lessons for the day um, and then they look at this one. So we've got maybe maths here and they just click on to join. OK, nice and easy. And once they've I'm, I'm not going to do that now because obviously I'll get kicked out of this meeting. Um, but as soon as they click on to join, then they can actually see their lesson and they can actually see the teacher and start from there. Uh, we're doing all of the lessons, um, including registration time as well. So registration time uh, will be as as normal. Um, if your child is in key stage four, we're currently having registration at uh, 10 past three, but we're now going to start to move that to the morning and that will probably happen from next week. OK, so all registrations, whether it's key stage three or key stage four, will be in the morning from now on. OK, so that, that's the first thing. So nice and easy. And once that happens, then obviously your child can go into the lesson and they can start to interact with that lesson and with the teacher also. So that is where the, the first bit is. Now, there's also a separate uh, section here where there are assignments. Now, um, your teacher, if it's a live lesson, sometimes the teacher might refer to, can you go to the assignment and start to do the work from there? And that's where all the resources are going to be kept. So again, if I can just look at this assignment here. I just click onto it as the student and then you can see there's some instructions which have been given uh, to the student, uh, some resources, materials, and then there's a piece of work that the student then has to um, to work on. So if I just click onto the, the ellipses there, just click onto open in teams and then from here, the, again, your child doesn't have to have Word or any of those other programs. They can actually use this worksheet and they can actually be a live document that they can actually work on. So that's what all the teachers have been setting up uh, throughout. Uh, well, yeah, for, from this week. So I'm just going to close that there now because I've finished it. And then when I'm ready to hand it into the teacher, I can just click onto where it says hand in. Now this one says hand in late because the due date was the 4th of November, um, which is obviously gone. Uh, so it normally just say hand in so the student can then hand in their work there. And then the teacher can see that that work has been handed in. So where does the teacher see where that work's handed in? So if we go to. 
uh, sorry. Sorry, yeah. So the next bit here is uh, where your child can see all their teams. Now, teams are just the, the fancy word for their classes. So when your child clicks onto teams, what they will see is they'll see all their classes um, there. And this is where all the resources will be kept. So if I click onto this demo class here, then at the top, this is where all the files are going to be. So I'll just go through some of uh, what some of these things mean. So you have posts. OK, that's where um, any type of post, so it's a, a message from the teacher. That is what we're going to get. You've got files, so it could be that the teacher is uploading um, some resources or files for, for the students to look at. Class notebook, um, don't need to worry about that for the time being. And then assignments, so going back to what I just talked about there, those are where <laughs> the assignments actually can be seen uh, by the students. So ones that have been assigned and ones that the students have actually completed as well. So again, as a parent, if you wanted to have a look to uh, to see what your child has done, then you can actually go to their assignments for each of their classes and to see whether they've completed them, uh, any ones that are past due dates and the stuff that they've got up, up and coming um, to have a look at as well. Uh, the other feature um, that happens as a result of uh, assignments is that uh, once the student has uploaded the work, the teacher has marked the work, given them feedback and maybe a grade with that feedback as well. That is where the student can actually see it. So they can see when it was handed in, whether it's just been viewed, but has it been completed or whether it's actually been uh, returned. OK, and if the teacher has set a grade for it along the side there where it says points, that is where the um, they can actually see the grades and then there'll be comments on the feedback on there as well. OK, so there's posts where um, all the students can see any comments that are being made from the teacher, a files area where there might be some uh, class materials put on there, class notebooks we're not going to worry about, assignments are where all the assignments have been set and created for that specific class, and then you've got the grades uh, where the feedback is given to each individual student um, based on what they've done so far. So down the side there, there are some additional uh, functions uh, that they have. You've got something which is called activities and activities. What it does, it just collates all the things that have happened so far. So it could be assignments that have been set, uh, any comments that have been made by the teacher uh, and so forth. Uh, you have chat. Uh, again, it's the same same type of thing again, uh, where you, um, as a as a student, you can actually see all the assignments. So if you've missed anything, you're not quite sure anything is or where something's been set. It's all down the side there in the chat area and that can be seen as well. Uh, teams, where all the classes are. Yep, so where your child's classes are kept. Assignments, as we've talked about uh, already, where the assignments will be. And then you've got the calendar, which is basically your child's timetable. Um, there are some other things on there as well, um, but they've been disabled for students. So, you know, they can make calls uh, to, well, we can make calls, should I say, um, but they don't have the functionality to be able to do that. And then there's a file area as well. So there's just like a, a file repository um, where you can, if your child wants to uh, upload work, they can upload work that they can do. It. And there's lots of different types of different types of cloud storage that is going to be available for them there as well. OK, so that's a very quick whistle stop tour going through uh, what your child will see when they log into their live lessons. Uh, and it hopefully it gives you a bit of an idea about the different types of functionality that we're, we're starting to use. Now, obviously, um, you know, we've, we started this from yesterday, um, so all the teachers are now doing the live lessons. So there are certain things that we are finding out that work and some things that don't work. Um, and throughout the day, I've been creating little help sheets for uh, teachers based on some feedback that they've been asking me. How can we do this? How can we do that? So we're learning and we're but we're learning very, very quickly. Uh, and I envision potentially by the end of the week that all the issues that we potentially might have have been sorted out um, and, uh, and and dealt with. Uh, what I'll do now is I'm going to go to the participants area and I can see that we've got about 50 of uh, uh, parents here, which is great to see. Um, what I want to do now is uh, I'm going to open it up to everybody um, so we can uh, answer some questions. So if you want to answer, ask a question, if you can see the hand icon, if you click onto that, then um, I can go through uh, and answer the questions as we go through. And I can see we've already got somebody here. Hopefully most of the questions that come up, I'm able to answer straight away. So I said um, we've had a couple of days now to do this. So hopefully we find out most of the issues that we have. So I'm going to go first of all to um, Billy. Yeah, hi, Sally, Billy's mum. Um, will there be PA lessons online? So we've got a bit of feedback there, sorry. It's... Will there be PA lessons online? Yeah, 
PE lessons online? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, really good question. Yeah. So, one of the things that we're looking at, because obviously we do understand that you know, you know, children being in front of the screen for five hours a day is probably not the not the most beneficial. Um, so, what I've done, um, I've spoken to the PE department, and they're going to put on um, some activities. Uh, we might even see a, a Joe Wick style. Um, uh, sessions as well but also what we want to do is we don't want to have all the lessons which are just basically students um, interacting with the teachers and uh, having those five hours face to face so we're looking at different things that we can do as well so we might have certain times throughout the day when it's just going to be um, maybe do some you know a craft type activity or something along those lines so yeah we are trying to mix and match it up but what we wanted to do for the first week or so was just to make sure that everybody was up to speed with them um, doing the online lessons and getting those right first of all and the students know exactly how to get onto them. Uh, but yes, in terms of the original question, yeah, uh, the PE lessons, yeah, absolutely, um, we are we are in the process of making sure that those happen. Thank you. Okay, great. Uh, Louise? Hi, um, is there a way that parents can log into Teams? Because is this how we're supposed to be monitoring their homework now, rather than class charts? Yeah, right. OK, so what, what we've tried to do, as, as, as you know, we've got, um, you know, we different types of systems that, that we have. So we have class charts and we've got teams as well. Uh, what we really want to do is we want to try and get everything all in one place because, it was, you know, I think it's quite difficult for, you know, the students, you know, parents, you know, to be able to sort of navigate lots of different types of systems. So for this current lockdown, um, we are everything will be going through um, teams. OK, so uh, whether it's the, the, the homework, um, whether it's um, you know just the lessons themselves uh, at this present time it doesn't allow you to be able to log into your child's um, teams area um, the only way that obviously you can do that is you have to ask your child for their username and password um, and then you can see exactly what they're doing um, and that's the, that's that's the way that we're gonna have to do it for, for this for the for the time being until there is a, a facility in this which allows you to have to your own access to your own child if that makes sense Yes, that does. Thank you. So uh, d does that mean that homework won't be on class charts anymore? Uh, not not for this uh, pr present time. OK, okay. Um, more information will be sent out if we if as, as a, a lot of this stuff is relatively fluid. Um, so if we do decide that that's actually not working the best way, then we'll let you know if, if the homework is going to be put back onto class charts. Great. Thank you. OK, cheers. Uh, uh, Angela. Oh, hi. Um, hi yeah, actually, it was um, this follows on from Billy's first question yeah. about sort of physical exercise, because yeah. um, I actually attend dance classes online with yeah. a trained physical fitness instructor who lives in Hackney and wow. she's great. And <laughs> okay. I wondered whether that might be something for students um, also for staff would would staff Thing at the end of the day yeah. they'd like to sort of have a bit of a relax um obviously in a different session um yeah. and whether that's something that perhaps the pta could could sort of put on for staff um and also if any parents would would like to join she runs sessions um at one o'clock and six o'clock on monday wednesday and friday and so if if anyone is interested in this, I can, you know, give give contact details to the school. Do you, do you think that's something? Absolutely, that no, that, might... that's that's really good. I, that, that, again, that's something that we've been talking about this week because you know, you know, you know, we've been sitting here for five hours or six hours yeah. without, without a break. So yeah, we, we do need to have our own physical exercise as well as as much as the students do. So so yeah, Angela, if you could do me a favour, if you could just drop me a line with the contact yeah. details of that person, that would be really lovely. Um, and as I said, yeah, we are trying to sort of uh, make sure that you know staff have a break as well and have some physical exercise uh, also. Yeah. So if we could do it as a group community, that would be lovely. So, yeah, if you could send that to me, that'd be much appreciated. Brilliant. And thank you to all the staff um, at Stoke Newington. And I, I don't think we can say that often enough. Yeah, that's, that's much appreciated. They, they do like to hear that. <laughs> Great. OK, uh, thank you, uh, Angela. Uh, Kate? Hi. Uh, yeah, I just had a quick question on the um, on the calendar. So we've had a few a uh, few sessions that don't have a click to join. So that the sessions don't appear to be happening, but then there isn't an assignment set either. Is that just a mistake or are those their lessons not intended to be joined? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. So um, just to give everybody an update on that. Okay. So the issue that we have currently at the moment, um, we've got quite a few staff, unfortunately, uh, that are off sick. 
Um, so clearly, so they're not able to do the live lessons. Um, so what we uh, are in the process of doing is making sure that the assignments are there being set. Now, uh, for some of our staff, they're quite ill. Right, so they're not able to set the assignments. So the heads of departments are having to step in and set that work. So um, there may be the case, maybe the odd lesson um, throughout the day where um, there might not be anything available for the students, but um, but just um, you know, but but there should be at least three live lessons a day. Um, but as I said, what we're trying to do is we're trying to work through the logistics of actually making sure that the lesson has an assignment if it doesn't have a live teacher there. Um, and one of the things that we're doing at the start of the day, uh, the tutors are letting the students know of the teachers that aren't going to be in um, or have a live lesson. So every day, um, tutors have a list of, of who those um, of who those teachers are and they're able to pass those on. And um, Mark, sorry to interrupt. Um, yeah, I, I know in a WhatsApp group, there's been a bit of a some of that communication hasn't been getting through, but I've told Miss Jaffa yeah about okay. it and she, it, that's going to be tightened up but i guess that's it's the first week and just still very early problems. days yeah yeah, still yeah very early days yeah yeah that's fine okay kate is that okay yeah that's helpful thank you okay thank you uh, uh sylvie um hi my question i know it's early days but mm -hmm. with the announcement of the examinations being cancelled um i mean i going from my son's personal experience is that the kids are sort of like demoralised at the moment and the attitude is what's the point of doing the lessons now? Um, what are the plans in place to keep these students um, you know, active and engaging? Yeah, I, th I think, um, you know, obviously I, I've just literally just come up to say that um, that has happened. I think in terms of uh, keeping them active, engaged, uh, we are still to do the teacher assessed uh, grades on them. Right. So even though, um, you know, they might think that they don't have to worry about the lesson because they'll be getting a teacher grades. Right. Those grades haven't been finalised yet. So there's lots of opportunities for students to make improvements to their work before those grades are actually given out. OK, so if this could be communicated directly to them as well, because I go from last year, um, I know someone close to me was basically told by um, that if, don't, if they don't attend sessions, they could be losing a certain percentage on their grades. Yeah, so well, it's yeah. like that to make sure that they do attend. Yeah, well, it's exactly the same thing. If, if, if you know, if in normal circumstances, if a child is, isn't at school, uh, then then we have nothing for them to mark, and it's going to be exactly the same thing again. Um, you know, I, th I think this time around we have a lot more um, the, the time frame in order to get uh, the work in from the students and get it marked and get it assessed and get our teacher assessment is obviously a lot longer this time than what we had in the first lockdown. Okay, thank you. Okay, lovely. Thank you, uh, Sarah. Hi there, um, thanks for that. Um, the first thing, just to pick up what someone else said before, um, I mean, this has been such a, a, a difficult and crazy um, time, and I think it's really, I really want to emphasise just how appreciated what you're all doing is, um, and please, please, uh, you know, keep hearing that very loudly, because uh, it's, it's fantastic, so thank you for that. Um, the other thing is, it's also building as somebody else has, has asked about the homework, is, is it going to be clear to tell the difference between what's an assignment and what's homework? Is that just going to kind of, will it'll become clearer as we go along or um, is homework going to be sort of not appearing in the first week or two whilst everything settles? Or I'm just wondering what, because what, I'm yeah. working on a schedule um, with my child to be clear, how you know, obviously to reinforce in obviously the school schedule, but where I need to make sure that, that he's still clear that there's homework outside of school times or or not sort of at this point yeah yeah so a really good question and I, I suppose it's something that we are still um formulating as well um because what happens after the after school every day there's a group of a uh, staff that we all meet together and we just talk about our experiences um and what's happened and getting feedback and stuff like that and i suppose it's something that we have to uh, make probably a little bit clearer because i think probably what's happening um some staff are probably setting the homework with inside the lesson and give it to them as assignments but obviously from a clarity point of view for um for, for parents you need to know 
know exactly what is a, an assignment that they need to complete and what is a homework that they need to complete as well. So it's very straightforward on the, uh, I'm, you know, I'm just actually thinking in the top of my head now, it's actually quite easy on the assignments just to say whether it's a homework or it's classwork that needs to be handed in. Um, so there are a few ideas in which we can take this one forward. Um, but yeah, I think we do need some clarification for you as parents about how to take that one forward. So uh, yeah, that will happen by the end of the week. Thanks. It's okay. Right. Yeah, that's great. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Toby. Hi. Yes. Uh, firstly, just a second. The thanks to everyone at the school. I think you've done an amazing job in getting this up and running so effectively and so quickly. So thank you. Um, and just for, and just one small point. It was mentioned in the instructions that students should ideally turn their cameras on, which I can totally understand from a teacher's point of view. You kind of want to know they're not just nominally there, but you know actually present. Mm -hmm. My experience so far is that they've been quite resistant to doing that. Um, especially if they see that the others in the class aren't. Everyone's always, you know, afraid of being the one to stick their head above the parapet. So they end up just keeping their cameras off. Yeah. So just if teachers are, do want that to happen, it's not it's not for me to say, but if, if they do want the kids to turn the cameras on, they probably need to tell them quite explicitly at the beginning of the class, come on, turn them on. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, th thank you, Toby. This is this has been quite a contentious issue, actually, um, to be, <laughs> if I'm being honest with you, um, because I think, um, you know, in some cases, yeah, having a, you know, having it on is fine. Um, but, you know, but, but you know, I think there's also, for, you know, for some students, they potentially don't necessarily want to, um, you know, have their cameras on for, for a, a variety of reasons. So, no, again, it's, what, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, I'm not pushing for anything. I totally get it. But if, um, yeah. if, if they do want them to, then they're going to, then they may need to nudge them a bit even if that's yeah good, yeah in, yeah right. so that's i think I th yeah I th you know you're right and i think pro probably what we'll do is we'll probably get to some sort of happy medium we're at the start of the lesson um now we have to see the children's faces just to say hi to them um and if they do need to make comments and things like that then we just ask them to turn on the camera so again it's going to be one of those things that we are um working through but i don't think there's going to be um, necessarily a hard and fast rule okay. that will apply for for everybody in every class quite right thanks Okay, lovely. Cheers, Toby. Uh, Lisa? Yeah, hi, thank you very much. And again, um, thank you uh, to all the staff uh, for all the hard work. Um, I just had a question, um, and it's partly because I'm, I'm part of the PTFA, is okay. about whether all students have access to the right kind of hardware that they need, um, uh, you know, laptops and other equipment, um, yeah, so I've been quite concerned about that, and uh, I just wondered wh where, you know, what your views on that are right now. Yeah, no, um, I, I completely agree. I, it's one of those things that, um, you know, the more equipment you get, the better. Uh, I'm gonna, just going to turn my screen around so you can see the other side of my office. Can everybody see that? Those are all laptops. Uh, that we've got currently ready to go for students. Um, so we are in a relatively strong position um, with in terms of laptops. Now, um, I, I'm getting, I'm, I'm, I literally, I'm inundated every two minutes with um, requests for laptops uh, for students. So I envisage that those that pile over there is going to go very, very quickly. So yes, as the PTFA, the more equipment that we can get in for the students, the better. I think what we're finding now, though, is it's not so much about the physical hardware uh, that we're able to give to the students, but it's actually the connectivity. Right. Yeah. So um, what I've uh, just, I mean, just in the process of um, applying for these 4G dongles um and uh, different types of um connectivity which has just been sent out by the government finally um so hopefully that will solve some of the problems but i would say now instead of um you know having hardware i.e laptops um doing something around getting 4g dongles in that connectivity is the big is is the real big thing so yeah at least if you could do something along those lines that'd be much appreciated as well. Right. well we'll follow up with you directly so yeah thank you thank you okay. very much that's lovely. Okay, and then um, uh, I don't, I can't see the full name. It just says CS. Oh hi, yeah, I. This is Colleen. Um, oh, okay, I hi just, Colleen. Hi, um, I just wanted to ask what the procedure is if a student is going to be missing uh, a class. My son has a medical appointment this week, so is there. Is there something, do we still phone in? Yeah. Is there something yeah. online? Absolutely, no, just as normal, just phone in the school, just phone okay. in the reception, so they're going to be away and we'll mark it down um, that they're away for that time and they're absent, that's fine, just as normal. Okay, great, thank you. All right, lovely. Um, uh, Matt? I said I wouldn't say any more, Mark, but you knew that I would. <laughs> um, 
I, I, yeah, I, I mean, just thanks. Thanks to you, Mark. Obviously, I see you lots in um, meetings. Um, I will. The, the stuff around um, uh, staff well-being, I sit on a well-being committee, so we'll take it to that as well whenever we meet. I'm sure we'll have an extraordinary yeah, 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 meeting yeah. any moment. So I'll feedback everything that the, the parents have said here. And just thanks again, Mark. It's been really excellent. Um, yeah. And, 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 understand. Brilliant. And, and, and also as well, I just want to sort of give um, uh, people some feedback as well, um, because there, there's some functionality with inside of Teams that were, um, that were, uh, are open to um, different interpretation. I, I won't say abuse from students, um, but we've been going through that today in terms of like chat functions. Um, we've been able to sort of uh, work out how to mute those things. So, you know, if we have found anything that can be disrupted to the lesson, we've actually managed to uh, find ways around that now. OK, so um, feel feel reassured um, that all the procedures that would normally happen with inside of a lesson are happening inside of the on online lessons as well. OK, all right. So um, so that, yeah, that's been recorded. Um, so uh, again, if anybody wants to see that, if there are any parents, um, maybe Matt, um, if you know of any parent that wants to um, see it again, uh, then it's going to be available for them. OK, brilliant. Uh, I can see, sorry, I can see one uh, last question from Lucy. Hi, hi yes, sorry, a, a late question. I was That's hesitating fine. to ask it, but because it seems so silly, but uh, my, my, um, my son is insisting that um, Many of his friends have their mobile phones with them whilst they're uh, on their on on the calls, um, and uh, I've I've obviously said that that's not allowed, and I just wanted to check that indeed it isn't, you know, something that 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 you're allowing to happen. No, um, no. Uh, I mean, ultimately, we're, we're trying to recreate the same uh, um, same environment that would happen with inside of a school lesson. Um, yeah. Now, obviously, I mean, if the child has got their their phone um, away from their screen, then there's very little that we can do about that. But it's uh, something that um, they shouldn't be doing at all. No, OK, I thought so. Thank right, you very yeah, much. That's fine, that's fine. Um, Mark, where can they, if, if a parent needs to see the recorded version of this, where do they go? Uh, good question. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it put up onto the school website. OK, yep, so it's going to be under remote learning um, and that should I, I can get that done by the end of the day. I'll, I'll dig that out and then I'll find it for when you've done that and put it on a yep. WhatsApp group. Yeah. Okay. All right. Bye. OK, yeah. So give, give it about um, two hours or so. All right. OK, lovely. Thank you very much, everybody. Um, again, if there's any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, let us know. Uh, and also as well, um, we're going to try and do a meeting once a week. Um, with heads of years. So if there are any issues that come up, um, then you can discuss it with the heads of years. Uh, an email link will be sent out about that. Mark, could I just say something? It's Louise here. I, I had my hand up. I don't think you saw it. Oh, sorry, Louise. Yeah, yeah. All it was said, I think it might have been put in the chat, but there is a meet, PTFA meeting on Thursday to discuss the digital divide and to launch a campaign, a uh, short term, immediate campaign to. To, to raise funds for laptops and a longer term campaign raising, you know, wider questions about the digital divide. So Great. if any parents here today can attend, the, the link will be put out. I think it's already been put out. It'd be really um, great to see as many parents on board with that as possible. Yeah, lovely. Sounds brilliant. Cheers, then, Louise. OK, everyone, thank you very much for attending. And uh, I shall uh, hopefully see you again at another time. OK, cheers. Thank you. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>